a zombie apocalypse. A world without population. A world that lacks vibrancy, energy and even life itself. A scene is as alive and authentic as the props populating it. A dynamic and immersive scene is the one in which apparently auxiliary props have their fair presence. Let's come to our example to see what we mean by this. Here, we have the core models that form the foundation of our composition. However, if we stop there, the scene may appear sterile and lacking any authenticity. This makes the scene sort of inorganic and only to the point. Adding props is especially important while creating 3D environments. The inclusion of random props here and there infuses a vitality, making it feel like a lived-in world with stories to tell. And this is why I've included with the video a free prop as gratitude to you for tagging along. You can use it in any of your projects that you like, you don't even need to give credit, all good. So placing additional elements like these scattered rocks, trees and metal girders create randomness in the scene. These props may not be essential to the core story, but they do add an extra layer of detail and depth, bringing the scene to life. When you've made the core elements of your scene, think of what will augment the vibe you're trying to give. What elements will enhance the overall narrative and evoke the desired emotions? Maybe random wooden crates, logs, shrubs, rocks, anything really. For example, let's say if our theme revolves around deforestation, let's say. Simply adding a couple of people chopping a tree may not be convincing enough. Instead, think about incorporating props like stumps of trunks, scattered lumber, distant animals, and mechanical machinery. You can also add dynamic elements such as falling leaves that I personally love, snowfall or rain. Having said that, do not go too overboard with the props, so much so that they drag the focus away from the actual story and then just become a clutter. Remember, these props are there to augment the story, they're not the story themselves. An overcrowded 3D scene can distract and overwhelm the viewer, shifting your focus away from the primary story. Strive for a harmonious balance where each prop serves a purpose and contributes to the overall narrative. On this note, let's round this up. Happy prop hunting until the next chapter. Farewell.